Good morning, everybody. I am Jeff the Homestead Dad, and welcome to the Homestead. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That low rumble of a big dually diesel engine. My brother-in-law Jason's here. Um, he's here to help us load up the pigs because today is drop-off day. We're taking the 16 pink pigs that we got from a farm in Ohio. Uh, if you haven't been following along, we went to a farm down in Ohio that was trying to get rid of pigs because they didn't have any place to process them. I was able to get a process date at a small local, or somewhat local, an hour and a half away, uh, butcher. And uh, we've had these guys for about five weeks. And now it's time to take them to the butcher. So they've gone from living in a enclosed space their entire life to living outside on dirt. Um, their attitudes have totally changed from being people averse, going away from wherever the people are to now when they hear us coming or see us coming, they come towards us because they you know, associate us with food. Um, it's been really cool to see, but their journey is over. Uh, we've got a lot, a lot of customers who are excited to be able to get a bunch of pork. So that's what we're doing. There's Jason over there. He's normally ornery this early in the morning, so just give him a break. Uh, so let's get after this. Morning. Oh, oh it is. Yes, it is. Got Joshua down here helping us. Jacob. I don't know if you can see him right over there. Moving slowly. He's a teenager. Was up too late last night. I'm a teenager. You're a teenager too. You don't sleep like one yet. Nope. Yet. <laughs> there it is. It's almost like you've done it before. So the pigs are, uh, so you can see, they're already coming in here. We started feeding them in here the last couple of days. Uh, I added this panel here last night. It is a goat panel, so it's pretty stout. And I put the tarp over it so that they can't see where they can go. We're going to go ahead and put some feed over here. Actually, we'll probably just put feed in the trailer um, and start getting them up in here. And then we're going to use these pusher boards and hopefully they go right up in and everything is golden. You guys need to uh, cooperate this morning, okay? Let's make this easy. Oh, 
Get on the corner, Jacob. Get on the corner. There you go. Okay. Oh, that's right. We have one up there. Oh. Jacob, you can lift that fence panel off. Joshua, come over here and pull that board out, the ceiling board, the roof board. Turn it. Turn it goes all the way off the metal panel. Josh, come yeah, got it? Nope, other side, Josh, other side, other side. No, 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 no. Josh, other side of the board. Push it out. There you go. Perfect. Now you gotta stand behind it and hold it up. Jason, you wanna put that on the inside of that post you're standing right in front of so that they have to go through the two totes? Big Ben. Now we know why he got his name. Stay, just stay in that corner, Josh, so you can't get out. Okay, here we go. No, we're good. Just everybody hold. Okay, 
Okay, let's just go in this time, okay, Piggy? Back, back, back it up. Get him in there, I can close it off. I know, but just back it up. Yeah. Well. Once we get him in there, I can, we gotta get him turned that corner, I can hold him. And then you'll need to go grab the other board. So don't let him do that? Yeah. Okay, Jacob. There you go, Jacob, watch him. You see there, Jason, I'll walk in. Come on. Let's go. There you go, Piggy. Okay, Josh, other board. Other board. Grab your other board. Oh, no. Yep, close it in. All right. Look out. Ready? What do you think? How'd it go? Better than I thought. There you go. We'll take it. Um, it definitely helps to have several people to help herd them in. Uh, it helps to have Jason's ramp here to get them in. And it certainly helps that we had the trailer here uh, a couple days early so they got used to the trailer because you can see once they got over here they weren't afraid of the trailer. They just don't like being told to go in a direction. So. Uh, we're gonna switch some cars with Jason. I'm gonna go grab my stuff and I'm gonna get on the road. Okay guys, we're getting ready to go. We got Jonah here with us. We got the pigs all loaded up. We got Joshua who's bringing me an apple and a granola bar for breakfast. And we're getting on the road. In fact, I need to put the, uh, the address into my phone so we can get on the road and get there. See you guys on the road. That's where my pigs are supposed to go, I think. But it's all full up with cows, or cattle, beefs. So I'm not sure what we're doing. Okay guys, so we just got the pigs dropped off. Um, we're, we had to wait a while. They didn't have enough room to put them. They had to move some stuff around. Uh, I think like most places in the country right now, there is not any place to, uh, to put animals to butcher them because I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook at all the homestead dad Facebook group because of COVID some of these big huge factory processors uh, it's the perfect situation for people to get sick right you know you put people in a big cold humid factory put them shoulder to shoulder for you know 12 hours a day people are gonna get sick one person gets sick everybody gets sick so these smaller butchering facilities, which is the places that I normally go to, they don't have the capacity to make up the difference for these um, factory farms. I think the factory facilities, the factory processors do like, I think it's like, it's either 90 or 95% of all of the butchering in the United States. The last 10, five to 10% is made up by small community butchers. Daddy. But, yeah, bud. Okay, we'll get you buckle. So we're back on the road. Sorry, I didn't get any video of the, um, the pigs getting off the trailer. It actually went really, really, really well. Um, we opened the door, one guy stood in front of them, one guy stood behind them, and they all went right where they wanted them to. So it worked out really well. Anyway, we'll get back on the road. I'll see you guys back at the homestead. back at the homestead but we are back at my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's place got the trailer right there I'm gonna spray it out back into their woods uh, I think the girls are already over here swimming 
uh, Jonah and Josh are changing right now. Uh, I'm gonna go back there. I don't think I've shown you guys. They just got a new pool and they built a deck around it. And today when it's 90 and high humidity, it's gonna feel really nice. Hi, daddy girl. Daddy girl. You say hi. hi. Uncle Jason made a deck so you could see people in the pool. Are you going in? Yes! Let's see it. What are you doing, miss? What? Could you tighten my goggles? Yeah. They're falling off.